What's up guys, Pokemon Long here, bringing you guys our next episode of our Pokemon Y. Randomize a shiny lock. <clears throat> In the last episode, we took on the majority of Team Flare's hideout. Uh, and now we're at the very end. We're about to fight the, the boss of this section. Uh, another important battle. Um, nothing has changed on our team too much. Uh, no, or no new moves or anything like that. But I just wanted to give you a brief overview of our levels before we go into this fight. Um, still have the same squad as the last episode, uh, being Loon, Miriam, Space Jam, Lady Allure, Ikora, and John. Um, and th in this episode, we should finish up what we're doing in uh, Team Flare's Hideout, as well as I believe get our legendary this episode. I think there's like one or two battles before then. We do have to battle um, Lysander either before or after we get our legendary, but I was pretty sure it's before. Um, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, but depending on how long it takes, uh, that may be the only encounter we get this episode. We haven't gotten any in a few episodes, but we're hitting major story stuff at this point in the end game of this game. So can't really complain about that. It's sad we never got sweet scent but <clears throat> you are not guaranteed anything okay <laughs> we're back my game did not want Dialga to uh, to appear at all so I thought we were gonna have to restart this episode but luckily we did not um I mean, I could whittle him down with Loon. Uh, he's got Roar of Time at this point. He's got Earth Power at this point. Uh, let me just let me just see. How much does a Roar Beam do? Yeah, there's Roar of Time. He can't move after this. Oh, what a shame that he leads Dialga. And he pulls out the Earth Power. Uses Roar of Time again. Should live. Pretty dang powerful move, but we should live this. We need Moonlight again because reasons. If I can get him out of Roars of Time, then I will switch to, uh, to Palkia probably. I'm just gonna preemptively heal this turn, I think. Yeah, there's the third roar of time. Oh, that's a really high roll. I'm gonna heal again. You know, the PP up might actually be a good thing to use on Moonlight. I'm gonna future sight here. He misses. Good for us. Pulls out another Earth Power. Still has two more Roars of Time.
Uh, we live even a roar of time. Probably not a crit though. We probably don't live a crit with anyone on our team. And he's got one more. We got the crit. Um, we just attack here, right? He has to recharge. Nice. I do need to heal up Luna at some point. Luna's one of our best Pokemon to stall out po uh, the other team's moves. Um, Giraffe Rig. It is normal psychic. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and space jam it up. I could stay in and heal, uh, but that would just be a stall fight. Again. So let me go ahead and just take care of this real quick. It's not a custom form. I was afraid it might be for just a second, but. I'm gonna spatial rend it. We get the crit. Excellent. Our wombo combo is coming through. And he's sending out Porygon Z. Which has had Hyper Beam and such in the past. Um, I believe it had, like, Discharge, Hyper Beam, Zap Cannon, and something else. So, to prevent any unnecessary shenanigans, I'm just gonna switch to Ikora. We're gonna Mega Evolve. Um, and I'm gonna... I'm just gonna T-Bolt. This should do pretty decent damage. There's the Zap Cannon. We resist. We're especially bulky. We'll still do a little bit. It's got parental bond. Yo. Where's my Porygon Z and my Mega Charizard X at? Because... That's busted. You could use two Hyper Beams in one turn. Sends out the Swampert. I really wish I had uh, a Grass-type move. He's a more of a physical attacker. I think I'm gonna rely on Space Jam here. I think John could do some work too. Uh, dang, I just really wish I had like Energy Ball on uh, Gardevoir or something like that. My ideal scenario for my team is probably something like uh, Psychic or Energy Ball on Gardevoir and then Moon Blast on Loon. I think those are two setups I want to gain. Is that a crit? Excellent. You're not near, nearly as scary as what I had in my head. Loon does get a level. And we've got a Farfetch'd coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of that. With Miriam. He's a physical attacker. We're physically defensive. We've got Rocky Helmet. And we're super effective on him. I feel like he gets a fighting type move. Um, but that's partially because of uh, the Galarian form. I can't quite remember if the normal form does, but the Galarian form definitely does. So I'm just gonna rock slide. He uses Air Slash. That's special, isn't it? Yeah. No Rocky Helmet damage, but his special attack and booty. So, I'm not exactly worried about it.
And last but not least, he pulls out a slacking. Um, who gets something like knockoff. Something like that. So I'm going to go to another physically defensive wall. Um, and I want to bulk up first. Just to kind of see what he throws out. We are slower. Chip away. Does a decent amount. We hurt him with Rocky Helmet though. Which was the goal? Is Chip away the one that doesn't care about... I have Chip away. Let me see. Does that not care about stat changes? Yeah, it doesn't care about stat changes. So, I just need to remember that. We live... It did... 70. So we live a crit. Um, I'm going to bulk up one more time. Because um, I know we're slower, I'm going to heal this turn and then I'll attack next turn. Unless he crits, I think. Chip away one more time. Ugh. Why do I say things? There we go. Now we for sure kill. Ugh. Okay. Now we get to push the big button and nothing happens. It doesn't matter which side you pick. We have to go to Geosinge Town. And deactivate this ultimate weapon. We didn't get a Master Ball. I'm thinking that was the thing that was in that room that we picked up off the ground. I I can't quite remember if that's the case. So, uh, we ended up getting a shiny stone in that room, but I'm pretty sure that's where the Master Ball is supposed to be. I could be wrong. I've not played this game in a while. But I think this is one of the few games where you pick up the Master Ball rather than someone giving it to you directly. Which is sad. Uh, so we gotta go. Get my flyer out of the PC. Also heal. Because that would be wise. And... Then... It surely seems like it's legendary time. And like I said, I'm pretty sure we have to fight uh, Lysander before we actually get our legendary. Uh, but we can we can handle that. We're almost level 70. This it's because I did put a uh, level booster on this game a little bit, but I thought it was only 10%. So being almost level 70 before the eighth gym is kind of whack, and I realized that I did not fly anywhere. Not anywhere else. Uh, the Geo Singe is this one? No, nope. this, this one. And we can get our team back together. I want to talk to this guy in the Pokemon Center. I feel like I've missed out on some TMs, but. 
I really hope I get a life orb for the uh, Elite Four because of uh, John's ability. Alright, now it is time. We need to go northwest. And we probably have to battle a few grunts. Um, I don't want to speed up through these. Uh, he uses stuff like Ring Gap. Uh, I want to switch to John. He uses Knock Off. Switching to Hypno, we switch to Ikora. Since this is not an important battle, that's the only reason I'm speeding up through it. I want to make sure we can get to the Legendary in a ti timely manner. Then we got Sableye. Sucks that there's a Sandstorm, but what can you do? And... To save items, I'm just gonna heal. May take a little bit more time, but I'd rather save my money. And I forget which town sells Moo Moo Milk, but we bought a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but I wanna save. After that thing froze, I'm not comfortable. I'm gonna talk to a few guys in here. Just to make sure like no one gives me like a master ball or anything. I don't know how this works. And there's Lysander up there, I think. There is Eveltal down there. Shoot, do we fight him twice? Because I know, like, he has his tentacle things down there. This sucks. Leading Mega Houndoom? Mostly a physical attacker. I actually wasn't expecting this so soon. So I think we fight him twice. That sucks. A lot. There's no way he has anything for Lady Allure. We, like, exactly counter him. I can't think of a universe where he gets, like, a ground-type move or a rock-type move. Heck yeah, brother. We just drain and kiss that. It's a neutral, but it's gonna do a bit. Inferno does more than I would like. But we get a crit. I don't think our next move kills based on that. But we have a decent amount of HP. He misses. Let's see. He may live on like one. We do get the KO. And he has aftermath, but I think... No, since we were full health, we don't get any healing. We just take aftermath damage. Kind of like how uh, Tough Scales works. Uh, I'm just gonna go to Ikora. Waylord has HP, but no, no defenses. So, again, I can't think of a world where he does much to us. So we just uh, let Ikora do her thing. Watch this guy melt into uh, nothingness. That took me back to like Pokemon Coliseum days where Waylord was literally just the size of the Coliseum. Uh, Masquerain, we're fine. We are absolutely fine. He's speedy, but we're faster? Okay. I thought. All that Masquerain had going for it was its speed and special attack, but it looks like we are indeed more better.
Oh, he's sending in Mew. That's cool. Uh, Mew gets a lot of normal type moves. It gets Transform. It's level 70. Um, the best thing for me is if it transforms into us, which it did not, we still hit super effective. It got a crit, so I know we can eat those a little bit better than that. We don't Oko, but we drop its special defense. Um, and again, we're not faster, so I'm going to heal just... What did a crit do? A crit did 96. 96. So he would do like 60 without a crit. I'm not going to risk it. You can get two crits in a row. I could just attack there, but I'm not going to risk it. Okay, now I'm pretty sure we live. We really are, like, towards the end game. People are have level 70s. I'm staying in. I'm just going to heal. Because Grumpig doesn't really do anything. Probably, like, one of the worst psychic types, in my opinion. If you did 60, how much do you do? Like... 50? Yeah. So we definitely live crits and all that. We even live a crit at this range, but we move first. Sending out Magnazone, which I am perfectly fine with, because Magnazone will not have Levitate anymore, and so will die a tragic death. He may be faster, I don't know Magnazone's speed, but he doesn't, so... There's not a chance he lives that. Loon is getting Psycho Cut, which I believe is physical. Yeah, 70, physical. Nah, I'm fine. Yeah, I wish Loon's moveset was a little bit better. I am going to heal. I'm not a fool. I forget exactly how this works. Oh shoot, are there more guys? Okay, this is just for me. Oh my god, what do you mean, bro? Ah, <laughs> uh, hold on. I don't even know how to think right now. Uh, Grass Dragon, Fire Flying. I'm bulky as all get out. I'm gonna work on Xerneas first. Used Draco Meteor. I'm gonna unspeed up. Uh, just cause fear?
He has. It got a crit. I was healing, bro. I just used a potion. Okay, that sucks, but we are literally getting a legendary right here. Nala was so good. Res did special defense. Ah, okay. I'm mad now. You didn't deserve this, Loon. You did not deserve this. <sighs> You're about to... You're about to face the wrath, bro. You're blocking me from getting my legendary. <laughs> they d they won't have two legendaries. They just won't. <laughs> what do you mean one of them has download? Are they programmed to have legendaries? <laughs> what is happening? I killed the one that I had download, but good god. I'm getting sick of this, bro. I'm saving again, just because I, I don't know, man. No! Why does this keep happening? Okay, <laughs> they're not legendaries anymore. Oh, good, 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 good. Please, please go away. I'm so glad these aren't important battles. Just in case one is. Okay. Okay. Sigh of relief. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We're here. Uh, I'm gonna keep speed up on just to get through this cutscene. We have saved. Stop. Please stop. Is this the horde battle? Or do I have to battle each one individually? Okay, guys. I'm getting kind of annoyed. I'm just I'm just gonna get through this as fast as I can. This is so annoying. Dude, we are facing the Avengers right now. What the heck? Oh, what type is he? He's like ice and something. Ice and ghost. Got a foul play. These homies aren't messing around though. We are getting the legendary this episode. I'm not even 
Not doing it. I'm not leaving you guys on this sort of cliffhanger. Okay. I can handle this guy. Okay. Once again, I'm saving. I think it's finally, finally, finally time. And... I don't know if you know this or not. Oh, we do get Yveltal as one. Okay. That's awesome, first of all. But... Um, unless I've messed up randomization... You get two chances for a legendary. This should be something else. Giratina. Uh... Hmm. I'm thinking. I did save. For my team... I already have a fairy type, but I also already have dragon and ghost. So, I think I'm gonna go with a belt all. And, um, I've saved. We've done one encounter. So, now that you know our options, I'll see you when he's shiny. Yeah, there we go. Shiny Eveltal is on screen. 24 encounters. Uh, our odds were 1 in 54 soft resetting, so that's not bad at all. Um, I mean, I put Lady Allure out front because I wasn't sure if we needed to damage. And we're not. Oh, we do have a Master Ball. Okay. Easy. I'm using it. I really want this Pokemon. So, I don't mind using the Master Ball on it. For some reason, I couldn't remember earlier in the episode if we had this or not. Or last episode, I couldn't remember either, so. This is perfectly fine for me to use the Master Ball on. If this were like, I don't know, Regirock, I wouldn't. But, I really wanted this. Uh, I am gonna name it. Oh, what do you name it? It's like orange brown. Uh, we already got Bruce Batman. What do you call him? You know, I'll just name him after one of my other favorite bats. Laylee. That's too many E's. Let's go. He is a bat, sure. I'm calling him a bat. He may not be a bat, but I want him to be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Loon in the box. I'm gonna remember to uh, move her to the death box. But we do have to battle Big Homie himself, Lysander, one more time. He starts off by sending out a bronze song. Uh, still psychic. Why did it put him first? That's definitely not optimal. Uh, okay. Uh, I would imagine he's going for a steel type move, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. He goes for future sight. You know what? While we're here, before I forget, let's take a look at Laylee's ability. And it's got a held item, too. That's interesting. 
Got the Gripper Berry. It's also got Flare Boost. It's a mixed attacker, so not bad. Special defense and stuff is not quite as good as uh, Space Jams, but that's no sweat off my brow. All right. Let's go ahead and hit this thing with an Earth Power. It should not live. It's kind of bulky, but... Ah, oh, barely lives. Uses Confusion. As long as it doesn't confuse me, I'm okay. And I don't think I have anybody that resists Future Sight, so I'm just going to stay in. Oh, no, we take it in. It gets a crit. That sucks. Uh, and he's going for Drift Blim. Uh, just to avoid the ghost on ghost uh, matchup, I'm going to send in Miriam. And hit this thing from the flying side. I bring out the Drought, which is A-OK -okay with me. Level 72. What are we doing here, fellas? Use a Shadow Ball. I'm not especially bulky at all, but we eat that okay. We don't have a crit now. He had the Rock Berry. Oh, it only works for one hit. Come on, one more. No! Um, so let me see. That did... 90. So, we might barely live a crit. Why? We resist. <sighs> My heart stopped for just a second. Sending in Braviary, uh, which can run a fighting type move. So I'm gonna go switch to my ghost type and electric type. Just to kinda try to negate that situation. Not a Pokemon I see as bulky at all, so I don't think he lives this. Sorry for that horrible sound. I just wanted to get through that animation. We go first. Thunderbolt. We're a little underleveled, but it KO's anyway. I think we're halfway done with this battle. And he pulls out the Licky Licky, uh, which we just went up against one, and it did not seem to have anything that is super scary for John, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of it from this perspective. Uh, it's a two-hit KO, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna see if I can set up. Use a slam. Use another one. Use another one. Alright, we're plus three. Speed fell, well that was planned. Starmy. It's psychic type. Nah. All that set up and I literally just say, actually. Oh, it's a stone Evo, so what does it know right now? Like nothing, probably. Probably has recover. That's Hydro Pump, so that's kind of scary. <sighs> this literally hurts my feelings. Um, do you have a flying type move? 
You don't. Well, the only thing I know to do at this point, then, is to hit it from the fire side. I can't look. I won't kill my child like this. Hopefully I go first. Oh, it's Mega Evolver. It's download. Maybe this one doesn't have download? No, nope, that's download. Uh, do we go first? Yeah, we go first. Sounds like he's still alive. Was that like Mega Horn? How we doing? Okay. I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch. That's our freaking child. Did he live? Oh my god. That was hard. Okay, we got our Legendary, we have defeated Lysander, so with that, I'm going to end off the episode. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. Make sure to hit that bell so you get notifications. Um, I think I'm going to switch up the team a little bit to accommodate for our newly acquired Legendary, um, and I'm going to grind everybody up to level 70. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode with a new team. Slightly new, not too new. See ya.